Have you ever thought running your own chat GPT in your Kubernetes cluster? Well, hi, I'm Yash, developer advocate at DigitalOcean. In this video, we will try to deploy our own LNM Llama 3.1 in our Kubernetes cluster. We'll see how the architecture look like, how you can deploy it and how, with live demo. So let's start with the live demo. In the live demo, I have a chat interface ready, which is I am using from the Misty app. And uh, right now I'm using the Llama 3.1 model, which is running right now in my Kubernetes cluster. So if I say, what is GPU? You will see the response is pretty fast because this model is running or right now in the NVIDIA H100 uh, GPU in my cluster. So the question comes up, how this will work out? To make sure you are able to deploy the LLM in your Kubernetes cluster, your Kubernetes needs to access your at GPU hardware. Well, you can do that in DigitalOcean. In DigitalOcean, come to the Cloud Console, click on Kubernetes, and when you create your Kubernetes cluster, you need to select one of this uh, digit data center, and once you select that, you will get an option to select a GPU hardware. Once you select a GPU, GPU hardware, create the cluster, and you will have a cluster ready with resources like this. I have a GPU node pool, and one I have a normal node pool. In the node GPU node pool, we will actually run our model. So since I have my Kubernetes cluster ready, now let's see the how the architecture will look like. So in this repository, which we'll share in the video description, in this repository, you can see the architecture diagram. In the diagram, we have three main components. One is the Q Prometheus, which is for the monitoring stuff to understand what is going on inside my cluster. One is GPU, GPU operator, which is through which we will be able to access our GPU hardware, our Kubernetes will be able to access GPU hardware, and the NVIDIA NIM. The NVIDIA NIM is a, a inference microservice, which helps to run pre-trained models in our Kubernetes cluster, and it is connected with a SMB. So once you download a model, you will download inside the droplet, not inside the Kubernetes cluster, because in case if you want to add new GPU nodes in your Kubernetes cluster, they can access directly from the workload, otherwise they will need to refetch, which is not a good idea. So it's a persistent volume. Now, how you need to do that is actually very well mentioned in this GitHub repository. So you just need to follow the prerequisite, uh, the steps which is mentioned, you just need to run those scripts which is provided for you, and it is very well maintained, you just need to follow these steps. At the end of this, uh, like readme, you will be able to run your own model. So once you follow these steps, you will see something in your cluster like this. So I, if I run the kubectl get all in name namespace, I have one port running up in which actually my model is running. And I have a service which is actually exposing my model and through which I'm able to access the API and I'm, I'm, I'm able to run it in my application. And if I get the information of nodes, you can see I have nodes of GPU and normal workloads as well. Now let's see the monitoring which we have set up. In the Grafana dashboard, I have connected my GPU workloads here. So you can see how that how much the total GPU power is going on, what's the responses, the power usage and everything. So this also helps to monitor and set up some alerts if you need. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.